New details in a deadly shooting investigation in Springfield. Residents very concerned telling us what they heard and saw. Washington Masters for Caroline Powers live outside the Hamden County Courthouse where that suspect was in court early this afternoon. Caroline. Dave and Beth, the Hamden County District Attorney's Office says 20-year-old Edwin Hernandez was arrested and charged with the murder of 19-year-old Isaiah Ramos. Hernandez appeared before a judge today. He's being held without the right to bail. Around 7.30 Tuesday night, Springfield police were called to the corner of Liberty and Genesee streets for a shot spotter activation. Megan Tremp lives right across the street. We heard about five loud bangs, pops, um, and we're, you know, we've, we're, we know what gunshots sound like. Police found 19-year-old Isaiah Ramos with a gunshot wound. He was taken to Bay State Medical Center where he later died. A small memorial now sits at the corner of Liberty and Genesee Streets. Large, large police presence. There are probably about nine, ten police cars. At least, you know, the fire department was here. They, and like I said, there was no detectives. Around nine Wednesday morning, members of the U.S. Marshals Task Force, Springfield Police, ATF Task Force, and other agencies arrested Edwin Hernandez in Holyoke. He's charged with murder, carrying a loaded firearm without a license, and other firearms charges. It's scary, especially when it's right in your home, like in your home, right next to your home. And, and it wasn't, you know, nighttime. It was, you know, after dinner. So it was at a time when you know, anybody could be out playing. There's a park right here. There, you know, there's, you know, children shouldn't have to see that or witness that or, you know, be a privy to this, this violence that are in our city now. Hernandez entered a not guilty plea this afternoon. Again, he is being held without the right to bail. The district attorney's office says the investigation is still ongoing. Live in Springfield, I'm Caroline Powers for Western Mass News.